Well, Madam President, I have an update for the information of all senators and for the information of the American people, and it's good news. It's good news for the doctors and nurses in emergency rooms around the country who are waiting for more masks and more funding. It's good news for families all across America. At last, we have a deal. After days of intense discussions, the Senate has reached a bipartisan agreement on a historic relief package for this pandemic. It will rush new resources onto the front lines of our nation's health care fight, and it will inject trillions of dollars of cash into the economy as fast as possible to help American workers, families, small businesses, and industries make it through this disruption and emerge on the other side ready to soar. The Bipartisan CARES Act will squarely address each of the four big priorities that I laid out in my legislation at the beginning of the process about a week ago. It will rush financial assistance to Americans through direct checks to households from the middle class on down and through a significant and creative expansion of unemployment insurance during this emergency. It will deliver historic relief to Main Street America through hundreds of billions of dollars in emergency loans so more small businesses can survive this and keep paying their workers. It will help secure our economic foundations and stabilize key national industries to prevent as many layoffs as possible, while keeping big companies accountable as both sides have sought to do. And of course, it will push major relief to hospitals and healthcare providers, invest in new medicines and vaccines so we can beat this virus faster and help get more equipment and masks to the frontline heroes who put themselves at risk to care for patients. In effect, this is a wartime level of investment into our nation. The men and women of the greatest country on earth are going to defeat this coronavirus and reclaim our future.